Good morning, friends. My name is Dalit Soni, and I welcome you all in this new episode of In Focus. So, in this video, we'll be talking about Agni Five missile. So, recently, you must have heard that India has successfully uh, tested its Agni Five missile with MIRB technology. So, in this video, we'll be talking about the Agni Five missile as well as what is MIRB technology and what is mission Divyas. Okay. So. Let's start. So, in this video, our point of discussion or the point of focus would be first we will see what was the news, of, okay, and afterwards we will be talking about the Agni missiles. So, we will be seeing the integrated program, what Agni missiles program was, we will be talking about that, and then afterwards we will be talking about MIRV technology which has been imparted or implicated in the Agni 5 missile, okay. Once we have uh, taken a look at the MIRB technology and we will see which countries possess this particular technology or you can say in the past which country has this technology had the technology in uh, I can say that in 1970s this technology was invented or the used by the first time uh, first time used by USA and afterwards various countries has occupied this particular technology and recently India has also used this technology okay. Once we have the clear idea about the MIRB technology which has been used in Agni 5, we will be talking about the Agni 5 missile system, okay. And we will see why it is significant, what is the significant of, uh, significance uh, for our military purpose or the defense, uh, you can say strategies. So, after that, we will go to conclusion and then see a practice version for your prelims, okay. So, let us start with our discussions. So, this is the news which is saying that PM Mori announces mission Divya. Uh, Divyastra success, okay. What is Agni 5 mission with MIRV technology? So, in this particular uh, discussion, we will be talking about this Agni 5 and then what is MIRV technology. And when we are talking about the mission Divyastra, you can say that this is a uh, basically a defense program or you can say a program wherein we are going to develop our arsenal system or the missile technology etc. Okay. So, mission Divyastra, this is a passing reference. I would like to tell you that it is a program which is related to the defense technology and wherein we are trying to enhance our uh, warheads or the weapon arsenalries. Okay. So, Agni missiles have been in the arsenal of Indian armed forces since 1990s. This Latest variant of Agni missile is equipped with the MIRV technology. We will be talking about that. Here is what this means and why it is significant. Okay. So, news is Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces the success of mission Divyastra with the test, successful test of Agni 5. Now, this missile system etc. becomes important for you because there are high chances that UPSC or other uh, competitive examinations they directly ask questions based on statements. That is why you must have an idea about what kind of missile system Agni is, okay. So, now coming to the discussion, what are Agni missiles? Agni missiles are long range nuclear weapons capable surface to surface ballistic missiles, okay. So, basically one thing here you have to remember is that it is surface to surface, okay. Second thing, it is a long range missile, okay. And it is nuclear capable missile, okay. So, they can actually carry the nuclear warheads as well, okay. And that is why Agni 5 becomes even more important for us, okay. Now, the first missile of this series Agni 1 was developed under Integrated Guided Missile Development Program IGMDP, okay. So, this program was started in 1980s and the first test was done in 1989 that is of Agni 1, okay. Afterwards, there are various category Agni 1, Agni 2, Agni 3, Agni 4 with different ranges. We will be talking about that later, okay. After its success, Agni missile program was separated from the IGMDP. So, basically, Agni, after the successful launch of Agni 1, it was separated from this particular uh, development program and then it was given a separate funding for that, okay. So, you can say that it has a strategic importance. India successfully, successfully tested Agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle that is MIRV technology. This full form becomes important for you that is multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. So, basically here they are saying that independently targetable weaponries. Okay. So, basically uh, in the further slides you will be saying that this particular uh, technology uh, enables us to carry multiple warheads at the one time. Okay. So, coming back 
to a discussion what is MIRV technology. As I told you, MIRV technology becomes important for us because it was a rare technology. It was uh, with nearly four to five members, uh, member countries, but now it has, uh, India has also occupied it, okay. So, MIRV can target multiple targets that can be hundreds of kilometers apart with a single missile. So, you can say that there is one particular missile system, okay, that will carry two, three, four uh, warheads and they can target different locations, okay, be it, uh, they can be hundreds of kilometers away from each other, okay. Traditionally, what used to happen that if there is a missile, that missile will carry only one warhead and that warhead missile will guide it to that particular location and then it will target, okay. But with this particular MIRV technology, uh, you can have one missile with two or three or four arsenals, okay, and then these arsenals can be used to target different locations, okay. Now, these missiles can be launched from land or from sea, okay. So, because of which uh, it becomes important because you know that India has become a nuclear triad in 2018 and because of which we have this capacity to launch nuclear warheads from land as well as air as well as sea, okay. Now, this particular missile can launch, for, can be launched from land as well as sea. So, for our nuclear triad, it becomes important. Then, MIRV equipped missile can release warheads at a different speed and directions making them difficult to defend against, okay. So, that will be very precise and since their speeds and direction can be controlled, so there are high chances that they are difficult to defend against, okay. Developing MIRV technology requires a combination of large missiles because obviously you have to carry multiple warheads and small warheads. Since you have to fit all these warheads in a particular system, so these warheads needs to be small. Okay, accurate guidance because these are targeted uh, missiles and the complex mechanism obviously to carry out all the, uh, you know, um, uh, operations very precisely with four to five warheads in a single system that becomes complex. Okay, now let us see, here you can see that that is a normal missile. Okay, here this is a missile and this is a single warhead inside it. Okay, so that is the normal missile. When we are talking about MIRV, here you can say this is a missile carrying one, two, three, four or five warheads, okay. So, it can have multiple warheads, that number can be, can depend on from 3 to 12, okay. But the right, you can say that this will act as a multiple warhead or you can say weapon they will use, okay. Now, let us say it is launched and then the parent missile will get detached, okay. And this particular system, okay, which uh, multiple warheads, it will target, uh, it will actually uh, launch the attack on different targets. Here you can say, let us say this is target 1, this is T2 and this is T3, okay. So, these warheads will get separated according to their targets, okay. So, let us say if this warhead gets separated here, so that uh, projectile will be different and then this projectile will be different and this will be another, uh, another case, okay. So, basically what is happening here is that one missile is being used for multiple warheads and to attack multiple targets that makes it very, uh, you know, you can say uh, cost friendly, fuel friendly as well, okay. So, that is basically your one missile, many warheads, MIRV technique, okay. I hope this is clear, okay. Now, who possess MIRV technology? So, in 1970s, uh, USA has developed it afterwards, Russia has developed it in the same decade, but then afterwards, France, UK and China has developed it and since then, uh, these countries had uh, had the MRIV technology or you can say that permanent 5 of the UNSC has had it, okay. But recently Pakistan has claimed that they have also developed it. So, considering Pakistan uh, our neighboring country which has developed it and we know that Pakistan is a, uh, you know, uh, mad child with the loaded gun. So, in that particular regard or to create a deterrence, we have also occupied this particular technology indigenously, okay. So, now India is also having this technology. Pakistan has it or not, that is not sure, but Pakistan claims it. Other than that, Israel. Israel is also saying that they have the technology or they are being de developing it, okay. So, as of now, you can say these five countries are short, short having this technology along with India now, okay. That United States, Russia, China, France and United Kingdom, okay. We are not sure about Pakistan, but Pakistan is claiming it and Israel is suspected to either possess it or to develop it, okay. So, this is about the MRIV possessions, which countries has it. Now, what are Agni-5 missiles? We have seen that what is MRI, MR, uh, sorry, MIRV system. So, basically, we have used this system in our Agni-5 missiles. So, let us see what Agni-5 is. 
Agnifies equipped with the MIRB technology, allowing it to target multiple targets simultaneously. As I told you, this particular missile can carry multiple uh, warheads and then they can target multiple, uh, you know, uh, locations simultaneously. Now, Agnify has uh, a range of nearly or more than 5000 kilometers. Okay, various Agni missiles have different ranges, we will see. But when we are talking about Agni 5, we can say that it has a range more than 5000 kilometers. Okay. And is primarily aimed at countering threats from China because obviously uh, China has a vast expense and we need to cover that particular different cities of China in case of uh, you can say nuclear attack. Uh, you know that India has this policy of uh, no first use. But if a country is attacking India uh, with a nuclear warhead, so India has the capacity to reciprocate it and we have to enhance that capacity so that uh, there can be a deterrence because with this particular policy that we will not go for no uh, first use. We have, uh, you know, uh, uh, actually left the deterrence. But the thing is, if you have an arsenal which is quite capable for the second strike capacity, we can uh, gain the deterrence again. Okay. Now the missile is a force multiplier capable of carrying multiple warheads and reducing the number of missiles needed for a strike. As I told you, if you have multiple targets, you will need multiple missiles. But if there is a missile system which has, uh, you know, multiple warheads, so need of the missile will decrease. Okay. India's pursuit of MIRB technology is seen in the context of regional rivalry with China and need to maintain strategic parity. So, that is uh, quite uh, obvious. Now, uh, let's have a look at the Agni 5 missile. Before that, I will tell you uh, Agni 1, 2, 3, 4. Here you can see that Agni 1, 2, 3, 4 are given and their launch uh, year or the test conducted year is given. That is not important. But the thing is, you can remember the range. Agni 1 has a range of 700 kilometers. Agni 2 has a range of 2000 kilometers. Agni 3 has a range of 3500 kilometers and Agni 4 has a range of 400, uh, 4000 kilometers. So, here basically for uh, your point of view or you can say to remember this, you can uh, say that uh, Agni 1 has a range that is less than 1000 kilometers. Agni 2 that is nearly 2000 kilometers. Agni 3 is 3500 kilometers that you can say 3 multiplied by uh, you know 1000 that is 2000. 2 multiplied by uh, 1000 is 2000. And when we are talking about uh, Agni 3, that is nearly more than 3000 and Agni 4 is more than 4000. Now, coming to Agni 5. Agni 5 is more than 5000. Okay. So, it is from uh, 5000 to 8000 kilometer. That is the operational range of this particular, uh, you know, missile. There are three stages. Okay. So, there is, uh, they are using solid fuel. And when we are talking about the test which has been conducted, that was conducted uh, from Orissa coast, that is Abdul Kalam Island. Okay, so this particular area or this island becomes important for you. So just remember that. Okay, so these are the four or five Agni missiles. Okay, other than that, there is one Agni P, which has also been tested recently. This Agni P is nothing but an augmented or enhanced version of Agni 1 and 2. Okay, and other than that, we are also working on Agni 6. Agni 6 will be an intercontinental uh, missile that will have a range of more than 7000 kilometers. Okay. So, that is about Agni missiles. Okay. So, this is basically the summary or you can say where they have launched it, what is the range of this particular missile. Okay. Uh, three stage uh, solid fuel they are using. Other than that, as I told you, we have occupied nuclear triad in 2018 and because of which this particular missile or testing becomes important. India's nuclear doctrine, which was promulgated in 2003. So, this become this fact becomes important. Our nuclear doctrine was, uh, you know, uh, drafted or you can say put in public domain in 2003, commit to a no first use policy. Okay. So, uh, the stand is that we will not go for first use. But again, if you have a nuclear weapon and this is, this is to create a deterrence and you are not saying that you will not use it first, obviously, the second country will use it against you. So, you will lose a deterrence somewhere. Okay. But China is also having a no first use policy. But the thing is, China is not a reliable partner. Okay. So, for that, you need to maintain a second strike capability, or you can say that you can have this second strike capacity so that uh, if at all a country is trying to harm you or they are trying to attack you, they might be aware of the consequences because you know that if you have the second strike capacity, they will cause you more harm. Okay. So, basically to enhance our warheads or to gain the uh, advantage at the second strike capacity or to create or to gain the new deterrence that is important for us. Okay. Now, coming to the conclusion. India's successful test testing of Agni 5 with MIRB technology marks a significant milestone in the 
in its indigenous missile program which is obvious and it demonstrates uh, India's, com uh, India's commitment to enhancing the defense capabilities and maintain maintaining a credible deterrence posture in the region. Obviously, as I told you, we are trying to create a credible deterrence in the region because we are trying to make sure that this, there, is, uh, there is peace which is ensured in this particular region of Indian Ocean. Okay. Now, coming to the practice question for your prelims. Okay. So, which of the following countries are known to possess MIRV equipped missiles before India? Okay. So, here we are saying that India has it, but which of the other countries are also having it? Okay. So, options are Germany, Pakistan, Israel. Option B is Russia, China, Pakistan. C, USA, Russia, China, France and UK. D, USA, China and Israel. You have to choose the most appropriate answer. Okay. With that, uh, you can attempt the question and answer in the comment box. So, with that, I would like to wrap up the session. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. I will see you again. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.